first question we're just looking at are rules or laws of indices with fractions. So hopefully you remembered we're just going to square the top number, square the bottom number. So 4 squared, 16. 5 squared, 25. Can't cancel it down. So that's how it ends. And the second question, very similar again. But this time we're going to cube the top number, cube the bottom number. 2 cubed, so 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3, 27. And again, can't be simplified down. So that's just our answer. Now we're getting slightly trickier now. Question 3. It required us to do a little calculation before we started squaring things. So we're going to deal with what's in our bracket first. So we've got our 1 third plus 5 over 7. So we're going to add them together like we did in question 1. So the denominator is going to be 21. Because that's our common multiple. What have we had to times our 3 by? We've had to times it by 7. What have we had to times our 7 by to get to 21? We've had to times it by 3. So 3 7s with 21. So now we need to times the top number. 7 times 1, 7. 5 times 3, 15. And if we work all that out, we're going to get 22 over 21. And now I'm not forgetting these brackets where we started. We haven't dealt with the indice yet, so this fraction is still in brackets and all squared. So if we deal with that now, again, same as questions 1 and 2. We're going to square the top number and square the bottom number. So 22 squared is 484. So you can do that using your grid method, your column method, get a bit of scrap paper. And 21 squared, 441. And then we have to deal with our fraction, which was right at the beginning of our question, three quarters. So we've got our three quarters multiplied by 484 over 441. So same as all our other multiplication fractions, we're going to times the top numbers and we're going to times the bottom numbers. So we'll put our fraction line in. 3 times 487 is 1,452. And then 4 times 441 is 1,764. Now we're not going to simplify down we're just going to leave it like that because we've got some pretty big numbers there so we're just going to leave it like that now final question <clears throat> for question two very similar to question three we're going to deal with our bracket first so we're going to pull out our two over three minus one over four we need to make our denominators the same, so 12 on the bottom. What have we had to times 3 by to get to 12? We've had to times it by 4. What have we had to times 4 by to get to 12? We had to times it by 3. So then we need to do the same to our top numbers, so 2 times 4 is 8. 1 times 3 is 3. So we can now work that out and take them away. So 8 take away 3 is 5 and the 12 on the bottom stays the same. But again, similar to question 3 on question 2, we've still got our brackets and our cubed. We haven't dealt with our indices yet. So our fraction stays in our brackets with our cubed and then we just need to cube the top number, cube the bottom number, so 5 times 5 times 5, 125, all over 12 times 12 times 12, which will give you 1,728.
again, not quite the end because we've still got to deal with our fraction, which was right at the beginning. So we've now got 8 over 9 divided by 125 over 1728. So we're going to use our KFC. <clears throat> Keeping our first fraction, so we'll keep our 8 over 9, multiply it by our 1728 over 125. So we've changed our sign and we've flipped our fraction the other way up. So 8 times 1728 will give us 13,824. And 9 times 125, 1,125. Again, we're not going to simplify it down because those are incredibly large numbers. So we're just going to leave it like that. So if you got that, very, very well done. You might need some scrap paper. So come and get some scrap paper to do your workings out because there's a lot of workings out going on there and you may run out of room. <clears throat> 